All right, let's begin with the first attack, which is use of none algorithm for signature. But it is supported by the spec and thus it is commonly supported by many JWT frameworks. Though this is not common for us to encounter during security assessments, it is important to understand how this works. That's because this knowledge is going to be useful when performing other types of attacks such as signature stripping. So let's try to understand this attack first. So let's see how this attack works. Before we get into the attack, let's understand our goal. Currently, we are logging in as secure store using the credentials secure store and secure store. We are able to see the credit card number of the user secure store because we have the credentials. Now the goal is to obtain the credit card number of the user admin. Let's assume that we know that there is a user called admin existing in the database and we want to tamper the JWT token to retrieve the credit card number of admin. So let's switch to the postman client and let's log in using secure store user to obtain a token that is generated using none type signature. So for that, we need to access slash v1, right? So I'm clicking send here because I already have the post data that we need. I'm clicking send. And if you look at this, we have gotten a token that we can use to retrieve the credit card number of the user secure store. Now let me copy this and paste it in a notepad. And this is how it looks like. Now, if you see, we only have the JWT headers and we do have the JWT payload. Now let's try to decode this using base64 URL decoding and see what we have. Now let's copy this payload and let's search for a base64 URL decoder online. And I'm going to use this base64url.com. So let's open this up and let's copy this payload and paste it here. We want the base64 URL encoded string to be converted to a plain text string. So I'm pasting it here. And if you see, this is the plain text string associated with this base64 URL encoded string, which is basically our payload. And if you look at this, the payload says that the user ID is secure store. And what we are interested in is the user administrator. So let's copy this and let's change the user ID to admin and let's copy this once again and let's paste it here. And if you see, this is the modified base64 URL encoded string. I'm pasting it here and I'm also going to copy this JWT headers and I'm pasting it here. But before we send this token to the resource server, let's just quickly double check what we have in this JWT headers. I am pasting it here. As you can see, it says the algorithm is specified to be none. So which is fine, that's what we want. Now let's copy this new JWT and pass it to the resource server to get the credit card information. So I am switching to my postman and I'm changing the authorization header with this new value that we have just crafted. And the body should contain get CC info and we can just remove this information. All right, so now we have created a new token that's associated with the user administrator. And if we successfully get response, we should see the credit card number of the user admin. Let's click on this send button. And there you go. If you notice the user admins credit card number is being displayed here. So this is how none algorithm can be abused because it doesn't perform any signature checks on the server side. So anybody can tamper the JSON web token and make changes to the payload in a way that they want.